Hello, today we are going to do a compression test for your scooter. And in this video, I will show you how. how. Well, hello and welcome. Today we are going to take a little test with the compression test kit. Okay? This is a fantastic little tool that you can buy online. Okay? You have to spend a little money with this tool to get the right reading. Because sometimes if you buy a cheap product with this one, and you will get a cheap result. So you get what you pay for it, okay? That's unfortunately with this product, that's why you really get what you pay for it. Now, this one costs you about $40, $50. You can even reach $150 with this product. If you really want a good one, and you want to read the right number, you're going to have to spend big money, okay? But at the end, you don't really have to spend money if you don't want to, because uh, your scooter really needs three things. It needs fuel, it needs a spark, and it needs compression. Now, if you're good, if your scooter is getting fuel, that's great, okay? If your scooter is getting, you have a spark, that's another thing, it's fantastic, okay? But the last thing, if your scooter is not working, the last thing is a compression. That's why you really have the problem with your scooter, okay? So, or it's reverse, if you're a compression, you don't have spark, that's, that's another problem. So. Uh, you can play when you fix your scooter you can play a little elimination game so you don't really have to spend hundred dollar hundred fifty dollar for this product okay so you're you really don't have to now this set comes with a lot of little toys this comes with the uh, uh, adapters right here this one it comes from 18 to number 10 usually for the scooter for a GY6 is like the 10 number 10 millimeter adapter right here that's what you're gonna use these ones are like little connection that you can put it straight without even have to put the, the spark plug so now this one is like a long hose that you're gonna attach to the little adapters over here and now right here you have the gauge right here that goes from zero to 300 okay so this one is a fantastic product this one is a blue driver and it goes from zero to 300 psi and it's a fantastic thing I love it you know, I love tools, unfortunately. <laughs> I'm like a little kid sometimes and I love little tools. Now, this is a really easy test to do to your scooter if you have the right tool. Now what you have to do, you just have to remove this part plug, put this connector, that is a 10 millimeter connector, add your spark plug right there. When you remove it, you put this one on, make sure you put a little, you know, grease right here. Put a, maybe a little W40 right here so it's not going to get stuck in there because if you get stuck and you force it at that problem <laughs> you might have a big problem so be gentle when you're gonna place this part the adapter at the spark plug okay because the metal of the motor is kind of softer than this one so this one if you force it it will break the threading or unthread where you place your spark plug so be gentle be nice very easy thing to do the only thing you really need is this product right here to have a great test okay now when you place the spark plug what you're gonna do when you're gonna place the adapter actually what you're going to do you're going to connect all the things together put the throttle open all the way and try to start your scooter at that point it will show you if you have the right compressor inside the cylinder okay that's where you know the explosion takes place uh, of your scooter so if you don't have enough compression what can be it's, it's like the problem can be the uh, clearance of the valves that you have to adjust sometimes it's just that or sometimes it can be the rings at the pistons those are a little more problem because you have to change the rings sometimes it can be a stuck valve inside there so a valve that is broken i saw piston broken in two pieces uh, and uh, what happened <laughs> there is no more compression in there when there's a piston is broken there is no more compression in there sometimes it's just a seal around the cylinder that is gone and after a long time you need to be changed okay so there's a lot of little things that can happen but if your scooter is not too old the good thing that it just that you just have to adjust uh, you just have to adjust the clearance of the valves and at that point your scooter will work perfectly okay so okay let's start to do this job right now okay to do the compression test we need to open this little door right here so we can go find the spark plug and remove it so you're going to need a Phillips screwdriver or a driller right here with a fillet point right here. 
okay okay right inside here you're going to see this part part brute okay make sure there's not too many wires around you that you they're gonna bother you okay now when you remove this part part brute don't go left and right go straight out because if you go left and right you might break the v-shaped wires that are inside the boot that they are not really good quality and they can break if you only one stays there what is going to happen that is not going to hold anymore the spark plug so that's what's going to be a big problem okay so you don't want nothing like that happen to your scooter now <clears throat> remove this part this part part blue going out like that and you're going to see right here right here you're going to see this part plug okay now you're going to need a socket that is a 5 8 right here with a socket wrench okay now what you're going to need is to put this one right there at the spark plug and turn okay so you can remove the spark plug and you're going to move this one going left so you can remove the spark plug now unfortunately it's a little tight down here i hope you can see it but you know you can just uh, unscrew a little bit that spark plug and then going by hand with a 5 8 and you can remove the spark plug why because you need to be gentle with the scooters and all the parts there with the scooters so sometime with a hand by hand you're going to feel what's going on you're going to feel if the spark plug goes on the side you need to feel what's really if something gets stuck there you really need to feel it okay because you don't want to be untreading the threading of the spark plug or the motor okay if you do that you're going to have a big problem now make sure right here that's a spark plug actually i bought this one on Amazon and it's pretty good let me tell you and is uh, this one is uh, like the three electrode on the outside on the ground and it's got one big one in the center and let me tell you this one even when it's cold actually it's never cold in Florida the scooter start pretty good <laughs> okay so at this point what we're gonna do We're going to place this one, okay? This one, the adapter. The adapter that goes where is the spark plug. What I want you to do is just to put the little drop of WD-40, just a little bit, okay? Little drop, and go around with this one. So, you're going to lubricate it. You're gonna put some, you know, make sure it's going to go inside nicely without forcing, okay? With a 5.8, you're going to put this connector right here. So you're going to be able to put this one at the location right there. So you gently try to tight the adapter inside there. Okay. But do not tight it too much. Okay. You just need to have uh, this one tight. A little more you can do a little more hand tight you can do the wrench but do not tight it too much if you tight it too much you're going to have a problem that adapter is going to get stuck in that position okay so now you have to tight it because if you don't tight this uh, adapter you're not going to have the right reading okay so this is the adapter is inside there at the moment is inside there you cannot see it too much because the adapter little 10 millimeter adapter for the scooter is inside there now at this point you need to screw this part right here to the adapter okay and it's not going to be too easy because you have a lot of plastic around here but unfortunately you have to do it because you need to connect this one to the adapter the best way is will be to like to make like a round thing so you're going to be to 
able to tie this one better because you have less space you don't have really have too much space now you can help yourself by opening up also the top part of the scooter like the seat and the under carriage of the scooter the, the, the compartment that you have inside your scooter so you have more light and more space to work with this one okay Try to tie this hose that goes to the adapter pretty tight, okay? But it has to be only hand tight, okay? You don't really need to tie this one too much. If you tie it too much, you might have a problem, okay? Okay, well at this point, when you're done tightening your hose, you can attach... You can attach the cage by pulling back this part right here you can attach the gauge to this hose that's it okay like that you can have the gauge so you can read it okay let's see if i can place in a location where you can read it too that's it this one is the best part okay so let's see at this time what you're going to do you're going to try to start the scooter but keeping your throttle all the way open so if you keep the throttle all the way open you're going to have a reading right here now the first one might not be the right one so just press this button and get a better reading okay so make sure you tight everything nicely because if you, everything is not tight uh, something is not tight really good the problem that you're going to have you're not going to have a good reading okay so let's go up there and we're going to open the throttle all the way turn in the key of the injection and open the throttle all the way and try to start the scooter and see if this scooter has compression Now the best reading that you can have on these scooters is between 175 to 195. But I never see 195 yet because I don't know there is always problems with the scooter on the gaskets and the valves and everything. So on the timing is not really sometimes the best thing is not really right. The valves, you know the thing is where no high quality you don't get a really good reading now on my side if you like to change things inside put some Tata products and stuff like that higher quality motor you will get a better reading you will get a better you know a better reading for sure a better combustion a better compressor you're going to have a lot better stuff a lot better reading if you have a better quality motor you can have that now this one at this point we're going to show is 173 i think is 173 174 that's what it's going to read right now so between 170 you know 170 and 190 that's what you should have on your scooter that's when your scooter is going to start i don't mean it's going to perform perform at the best but if you have 175 170 you see your scooter is going to start the right way Okay. Okay, let's do it again. You, what you're gonna do? We just press this one, reset. You know, so you're going to reset the compression of this, you know, this cage. Okay. So let's see. Let's try to zoom in a little bit. Okay.
see that's what you're going to get a good rating you know so with different kind of of uh, gauges many times you will get a different rating but if you get at least 170 and above you're okay the problem is sometimes if you buy products from Arbor Freight or cheap gauges uh, or kit like cheap stuff uh, it's not going to give you a perfect reading it's not going to give you a great reading but it's okay what you really want to know if you have compressor inside there what you can do you can also try with the the kickstart on the left side to push and see if you feel the compression but you know it's not really an accurate reading what you really need is this this is uh, a compressor tester for your scooter or car or even the lower mower so you can use it everywhere okay this one is one thing that you should buy if you really like toys like me tools toys I love these ones okay okay right after you check your compression with your compression tester right here you're able to put everything back together remove the hose uh, remove the adapter put back this power plug make sure it's nice and clean before you put it in and uh, if you have any question please feel free to ask at any time click that like button and subscribe to my channel at any time i'd like to thank you very much for watching my video